Hello, everyone. Um, this is Marcia Serkin, your friendly local technology facilitator here at White Oak. And I'm here with my friend Christian, and we have permission to record this and share his greatness with you guys about what he's been up to. So, um, Christian, would you like to first just introduce yourself and tell our audience a little bit about you? But not okay. too much information. You know how that goes. Yeah. Okay, so my name's Christian Hayden, and I'm in fourth grade, and I like making games. Awesome. Christian has been very busy. Um, and last year, even year before that, Christian really got, like, just a lot. He just got into coding and designing, and he has been working really hard um, during this virtual time to even enhance and build on what he's already done. So I'm going to turn it over to Christian, and he is going to share some really awesome stuff with us. Go ahead, Christian. Okay, so first I would like to share the game. And now this is the game. It has taken me a long time to finish. <laughs> that's the, that's what you mm -hmm. Basically, this is my game. It's mm -hmm. got lots of stuff in it, but it's pretty interesting. And mm -hmm. then you can play, it's pretty nice. That was so close. It almost hit me. Whoa, that was a close one. Oh, see, that was a close one. And watch mm -hmm. what happens. Looks like it isn't your lucky day today. That's so, Christian, I haven't played it since you added sound. What inspired you to build this game? Okay, so basically, I really like the game Invasion, and I've made a whole bunch of small projects, but those weren't big at all, and I didn't really like them. Like, hmm, well, 2021, new year, new games. Why don't I make something so much? So well, I've been working on something for a long time, and then it finally finished it, and I'm really happy with it. And basically, I was inspired by the game Invasion. Now, I couldn't find any good ideas on the like Invasion. Mm, kind of seems nice. Well, why don't I make it modernized? So then I made it. And now I've made Space Survivor. Now, Christian, I helped get you into coding a long time, a few years ago. But you have really just taken it to the next level. How do you learn all of these techniques? Well, basically, it starts with a book. Now, Christian, you're like, Christian, a book? How does that help you make this game? I mean, this is a game, not a book. But basically, I found a book on Epic, and, well, it was a coding book. Now, I wanted to make, I, like, played some games. I'm not that much of a gamer. I was like, hmm, these games are all nice and all, but what if I could make my own games and make them the way that I wanted them to be instead of having to be stuck playing these games? games. So that inspired me to make games. I've tested a couple epic books. Now, I like code.org and all, but it doesn't give me, really give me the freedom that I want. So I was like, hmm, why don't I try real coding language? Now, coding language is basically like, let's say that you walk up to alien and you want to talk to the alien. You have to speak the alien's language if you want to talk to it, because the alien doesn't understand English, does he? So it's the same thing with computers. You have to learn the computer language to be able to talk to it or tell it to do things. So Basically, what I did is I learned the coding language JavaScript with the book. And then after that, I got the book in real life. I was just using it on Epic. And then I basically started working on games. I made, I grew and I grew. And I, they're just like tiny projects. There was nothing really that big. I mean, I made a website at the age of nine, but other than that, that's nothing that big. Mm -hmm. Like, hmm, new year, new games again. So then I just basically made my game mm -hmm. and here I am now. Mm -hmm. Now, Christian, you don't have to show us right now unless you have it readily available. Oh, I have it ready. Um, this summer, you experimented with video a little bit. Mm -hmm. You made lasers shoot in your video. Tell us about that. Okay, so that is actually with the video editor. Now, I don't have anything high quality like Camtasia, nothing big that much, but... I have my own laptop over here, and basically, I can add effects to it, and it's not that complicating, but I can add effects to it, and I really like it. So, like, here's this one video that I added, made, 
Now this video, it's for, uh, this is in the video editor that I use, but I can add 3D effects here in DC. Uh, yeah, I can add like rain, I can add lasers. I want a laser, I can add a laser. I can position that where I want it. But yeah, that's how I make my videos. Mm -hmm. And you didn't really have to have any fancy equipment really to do this, right? Mm -hmm. Tell Actually, us about what you use. Okay, so actually, the, what I use is I have my book for reference over there. Uh, I have the internet for coding problems. I also have this head for coding problems. And I the only thing that I've ever really used is I just have a mouse. I have some headphones. And mm -hmm. I have a laptop now. Christian, mm -hmm. you can't buy a $200 laptop and make a game. Oh, I didn't buy this. Okay, so somebody put the, this perfectly fine laptop in the recycling bin. And then, like, I think it's, like, my uncle or something. He, like, fixed his computer and it's like, this laptop's perfectly fine. How dare you put that in this garbage can? No. So then basically refurbished it. And then he's like, anybody want free laptop? Take it. I don't need it. Anybody? And I got it for my birthday because instead of destroying that home computer, I can destroy this one. But I think you're pretty much using it for good, right? Yeah, I'm really happy that I got it. Yeah. Before you were using your parents' laptop, right? Yeah, it was the family laptop and I didn't really, like, it's not that high end and it's stuck there. Now I can use it in my room and it's really useful. I mm -hmm. mean, it's old, but it works and I like it. I love it. So, what is your next project? This one was pretty big. What do you think is next on Christian's radar? I don't really know what would be next. I Right now, I'm working on expanding Space Survivor, adding new updates. But other than that, I think... Okay, so what I've been really interested in is I know that... What, like, I get asked by my classmates all the time, Christian... How do you make this? And I can't just say, oh, you learn jobs, see if you do this. Like, I, it sounds like alien to them. So I'm trying to make, okay, so lots of people want to make a game like Space Survivor, don't they? So I'm adding, my next big project is probably going to be a modded Space Survivor. So that if, mm -hmm. let's say that you want to make a Minecraft mod, it basically edits Minecraft and makes it to your needs. You don't have to do any complicated coding. You just, like, mess around with a couple things. It's pretty easy. So, other people want to make a game. So let's say that you want, instead of the app, instead of being a space astronaut, you want to be a cat. You just download an image of a cat, upload it, and then bam, you're a kitty cat. And let's say that mm, I don't want an asteroid. Who likes asteroids? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Why don't I add a goldfish? And then you can just up, download an image of a goldfish, upload it, and bam, you have a goldfish. And then you can share that with friends. And then basically. It's basically like you made all your own game. All you had to do is you just had to mod it, and then I'll do all the complicated coding in the background. It makes game making access accessible for everybody. Wonderful. So if you had some friends, now we do we do um, JavaScript here at White Oak. Ooh. Um, some of our upper grades, and you're finally there in the upper grades. Um, but let's say that someone wanted to start from scratch with JavaScript. Where would you recommend they get started? I'd probably recommend they just go find the book JavaScript for Kids by Nick Morgan because that's what I help. You make sure to read chapter by chapter because first thing I didn't read chapter by chapter, I'm like, it's alien. Why don't I start from the beginning? Because it says, it I forgot the first page. It clearly states, read this chapter by chapter because each chapter builds off of the next chapter. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I, did, I just didn't even read that page. I'm like, no, it's alien. I don't know any of this. I just wanted to jump straight to the game making, but then I realized, Christian, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really proud of you, and you've put a lot of hard work and time into this, and nothing that is ever worth um, having is just easy. It's something that takes time and practice, and you have to put, you whatever you put into it is what you get out of it. And Christian, I could see you um, building even more games and more mods. And I could see you going to a university, creating these things for all, all sorts of people, people in the workforce, more kids, teachers like me. And I'm just so impressed by you and inspired by you. 
And I'm just so thankful that you shared this stuff with us today. Do you think that we should share the game with everyone watching this video? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. So um, I'm so thankful that your mother gave us permission to take this so that we can share it with everyone. And I'm also going to post in the, in the video um, your game so that others can play it too. Um, is there anything, if you had any like inspiring words to leave us with, what would it be? Mm, inspiring words is probably work hard and never give up. Now, why do I say this, Rich? You're like, Christian, you just got those from a book. You can't just say it. No, actually, I came up with these words. Because there's, if you look at the development log, there's like a 20-day gap. And, and the development log's like where I list what features I added. But there's like a 20-day gap. You're like, Christian, did you give up? <gasps> no, I didn't. It took me 20 days to get this game working on iPads mobile it took me 20 days that so, so hard some some days i was like just oh why i just i still have one to do it some days i felt like quitting but like no christian you're going to do this you're going to add most and mm -hmm. now finally you can play the game on mobile and this is your debut so i'm so excited to share this with everyone and i'm so glad that you remembered to mention something about them being able to play it on a mobile device as well. So, bravo, Christian. And I can't wait to see what your next project is. Ha thank you so much. And um, it's just going to be, the, the, the moon is not even the limit for you because you're gonna go farther.